Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how I make my pop sticks for swatching. I've tried various ways of making them last and reusable and this is the best way I've found for myself personally and I thought I would show it to you. The products I use are as followed, clear builder gel and a flat brush. I generally use cheap builder gel, nothing expensive just for swatching. A top coat. I have found that the best for me personally is a matte top coat. I seem to get less glare from the swatches on the photos by using the matte. An LED UV lamp, lint wipes, isopropyl alcohol and of course your pop sticks. I found that either normal nail polish or gel polish can work as swatch pop sticks. I do however normally leave normal nail polish a good 24 hours before I apply the gel. It basically gives it a good enough chance to dry. Because my lamp is small, I only tend to work with six pop sticks at a time, but I do have two sets of six working at any one time. I don't use any base coat, so I just apply a small bead of the build gel, a nice even coat to cover the pop stick, make sure it's nice and smooth as possible and making sure that you cap the end. I have found that this is an important step to take as uncapped pop sticks do not last as long. Cure your pop sticks using your builder gel guidelines. Once the first layer is cured, apply your second small bead and again making sure that it's even and capped. Again, cure the pop stick by your guidelines of your builder gel. Once the second layer of builder gel is cured, apply your UV gel top coat. Now I have found that a thin as possible layer is best as I have had pop sticks that wrinkle if you apply a generous amount. Cure your UV top coat by the guidelines then once it's cured clean with isopropyl alcohol and you're finished. I have loads of pop sticks as this picture will show. I like to have a good choice of colours. I have pop sticks in which I've probably used a good 20 times. The one thing that I have found that makes pop sticks unusable over time is acetone. I honestly can't remember the last time I threw any away though. Please like, subscribe and share for future videos. Why not press the bell so you can get a notification when I upload a new video. Why not come over to my Instagram at Glittershine Nails and follow me over there to keep up to date with what I'm currently doing. Thank you for watching and I hope that you found that this video was helpful for you. So until next time, happy stamping and goodbye.